Hello and welcome to the Night Shift. I'm your host, A Stick Man. This week, Andrew visits SUTD's Entrepreneurship Centre to speak to the team of Stickum to find out about what they do. Hi guys, so welcome to the first episode of The Hustle, where we're at the Entrepreneurship Centre and we're going to check out one of the startups over here. Let's go! So hi guys, we are here with the team of Stickums. Welcome guys. Why are you guys not Stickums? Stickum. This is Stickums and this is Stickum. And here we have I'm Adam. I'm Sien. And I'm Bannon. Adam, what do you do? <laughs> What's your role in this company? Okay, so I am one of the co-founders of Stickum um, with Inkai and a few others. And I'm the only student amongst the founders in SUTD, so essentially I try to run the show here. Wait, you're a student? Yeah. You're a current student? I just finished my year two. I'm, a, I'm from the year of 2025. Wait, wait, what the heck? Wait, I, I did not know that. <laughs> Uh, we'll have Adam explain what Stickum is. So Stickum is an edtech company that's trying to make STEM education accessible to all. Because right now, <clears throat> believe it or not, there are over a billion kids out there that don't have actual access to um, proper STEM education. So they're growing up without learning how to code or not knowing how to like apply sciences or maths in different ways. So yeah, we are, we are here to change that. Okay, so guys, we're going to make um, a robot of some sort. You're going to be a robot. Okay, I'm not a very robotics person, I'm not gonna lie. If she as a non-robotics person can build this robot in the next 15 minutes, then that proves our point, I think. Uh, get, uh, get ready to be disappointed. <laughs> okay guys, so we're here. We're gonna make this robot thing with Bannon's help. I mean, essentially, I'm sure you can, you can do it by yourself. There's, like, the kids are gonna do it by themselves, but I mean, if you need any help, I can guide you. I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> Give them pliers yeah. for free. Uh, when you're connecting into the connectors, right? Uh. Uh, it takes a bit of effort to pull it out using your hands. Oh. So we just provide them pliers so that it's a lot easier. Okay, okay. So Adam, why did you start Stickum? The idea of Stickum didn't come from me, it came from the junior that invited me in. This is a problem that both he and I saw. So when we were both teaching robotics at enrichment centers and stuff like that, the kids always come up to, an, up to us and ask, Hey Chad, can we take the robots home? And our answer is always no because the robots are so damn expensive and it belongs to the centre anyway. I felt like it could have been something that had been fixed but then he, Kai came up with the idea and he asked me whether I can join him later onwards. So yeah, that's how I came to be in the team. Sien, Sien. Yeah. What do you do? What are you doing here? Um. Highest month No, 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 no. Don't listen to this guy. Okay, so basically what I do is I'm the head of productions here. I basically oversee everything that's made. Like, see all these boxes. I don't know where the camera can turn there. Yeah, all these boxes, those are the kits that we produce. We start from the raw material, which is the filament rolls. And we print them out into all these parts here. Yeah, these parts. And then they go into the boxes. And from that box, you can make things like this. Yeah. Yeah, chopsticks. Venon, Venon, why, what, why are you doing here? Basically, I'm a business development intern. I'm basically doing whatever Adam is doing, except I'm learning and he's running the show. So you're a mini Adam. <laughs> I'm a mini Adam, and there's another one. So I guess, I guess there are two mini Adams. So Adam, you're from Korea, right? Is that why he cut his hair like this? I don't know. <laughs> Meanwhile... Okay, what's the fastest set? Do you have like a competition that you can make this? You. And then I'll let you know. Yeah, your time started by our two minutes ago. Can Venna help me? My hands are dirty. Okay. okay. Get your nasty hands off that, okay. Okay, this is for the interns, okay. What do you like most about your jobs? For me, I guess it gives me a lot of exposure and I mean the very cliche stuff, la. a lot of opportunities to learn, stuff like that. But more, I realise that there are a lot of people out there that actually do want to hear what you have to say. And 
they they do want to give you a chance, so you can just like just take the step and try it out. Lah. So you wanna be an entrepreneur? I mean, if I have my own business and assuming it's successful, I'm gonna be rich. So why not, right? <laughs> and for Sid. First of all, I joined this because I had nothing to do over the holidays. Okay, I saw his his post in the SUTD family chat. Like, okay, yeah, let's just go and work there for extra money. Then when I joined, I realized like, hey, actually, this place quite a bit of extra money. At first, I joined as like just a normal packer or something. Then, but now I'm like leading my own team, you know. So there's like managing. I learned how to like manage a team around or how to coordinate between the top, the boss, and my. <laughs> and my, my own team, how to set my own deadlines and stuff like that. Yeah, and I guess I'm learning more. Yeah, uh, m m money is also... Uh, yeah. Okay, what do you hate most about working here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fit. That's what she said. Wow! Are you proud of me? Who are you asking? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Adam, are you proud of me? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> A few more steps to go. Shit. Adam, how are we doing? How, how are we doing on time? I think she's doing pretty well. Usually, primary school kids would take about 15 to 20 minutes. So if she does it under 10 minutes, I think that's good. Okay, so she's on pace right now then? I would say so, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a very... That's a very tough question to answer. Especially with the boss here. Uh, maybe it's because I'm learning a bit of everything. So there's a lot of things to pick up like from the get-go. Like there are a lot of departments, right? Academy, productions, uh, the business side. Then meeting, meeting with all these people. And then there's so many things going on and I have to do all of them at the same time. So I guess it just eats up a lot of my time. And on top of that, now we have school and uh, I, took, I took spatial. So a lot of my time is already eaten up and now even more. Yeah. Then how are you managing between school and working? I just, I just choose to sleep less and do more. I mean, once, once the holidays come, I can sleep. I can sleep the entire day, so I'm just waiting for the holidays. I think my answer is around the same as Bannon because I also take spatial and I also have need to spend a lot of time because for us here, productions, it's more of like having to be on site more compared to Bannon. Like, he, he can just... Sometimes he can do stuff like from his room or something, but like for us, we most of the time we have to be here. So it takes up quite a bit of time as well. But now that now I have like... Five people in our team, so the workload is better compared to before the holidays when we would spend like long hours here. Yeah. So you're saying that Bannon's job is easier than your job? No, of course not. I'm saying that Bannon's job is more of like mentally challenging, whereas our job is more of like it's not mentally challenging. Okay, there are some mentally challenging aspects of it. Like let's say these printers here, right? Recently, they've been giving her, giving us like quite a bit of problems. Like they, they keep failing on us and we cannot figure out why. So that is the mentally challenging aspect of it or something like that. So trying to fix all these kind of things. But then it takes up more time compared to Bannon, I guess. So that's like the difference of, yeah. He, he has to think more than us. Okay, so at the end of the day, the moral of the story is don't take spatial. <laughs> no, Carlos <laughs> Benyon C, bro. Yeah, you guys gonna. Oh my days, he's gonna give me an F. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Oof. Not bad, not bad. Which is about 80%. Man, 80%. Be completely honest, okay? I think this could be a learning opportunity also. What is. What do you hate most about your interns? Why is that to hate? I mean, I think there's always room for room for improvement, right? But they wouldn't be here if they if they weren't doing well. So the fact that they are here, I think that's already a sign that they are doing pretty well. I think one of the things that I try to focus on for people who join Stickum is I want to meet their expectations. So if they meet, if they if they come and join us with the intention to learn something like Ben and, and uh, Muvil, who's not here today. I will do
do whatever I can to provide them with the opportunity. If their expectations are something else, then I'll try to meet that too. So like for future entrepreneurs out there, um, what advice do you have for them? Um, so I think a lot of people who might have ideas who want, or who are generally interested in this space usually think of starting something out in uni as a big risk. But if you ask me, it's probably the least riskiest time to do this because if you start in school and you fail in school, you learn and you develop the experience and you develop the network. Those networks and the experience is probably going to get you, lend you a higher paying job even if you don't continue with your startup journey after you graduate. And I think there's all to gain and very little to lose. I mean, other than maybe a little bit of social life, a little bit of sleep here and there, and a bit of stress. But I think if you have an idea or even if you don't have an idea but you want to be in the entrepreneurship space, just look around for people that might they are doing something and join them. Okay, we're done. Not bad. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. It's not focusing. Oh. Hey, yeah, okay. Yeah, I got the time. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Do you have any guy? Do you have any guess as to how long we took? Okay, I guess I took seven minutes. Seven minutes. Eight minutes. Nine minutes and. 27 seconds. Plus another 30 seconds because we started the timer late. Okay. So about 10 minutes. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. You are... Than, uh, nine year old. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, so the front is a side that doesn't have wheels. Got it. Hey, how does it turn? Hey. What do you mean, how does it turn? <laughs> Like, 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 like. Oh! Okay. Huh? <laughs> okay, the physics just physics in my head. So, y yeah, you see, when one wheel turned forward and one wheel turned back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, I got it. It's like a little pet I can follow. And they can follow me. Like this. Nice wrong. Anyways, so we've come to the end of the video. Um, I just like to take, thank Adam for like you know taking the time to be here. Yes, did you enjoy? I think so. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Cut that. You need to say yes. Okay. Okay. With excitement. Yes. Okay. 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 Roll. Roll. Okay. So okay, Adam, did did you enjoy today today's shoot? Yes! Oh yes! That's right, okay. Thank you for watching and where do you like to stick them? <laughs>